We all love our Sega Dreamcast, but we have to admit the controller kinda sucks. Wouldn't it be great if we could control Dreamcast games with one of these controllers? the answer to your question. This is the Brook Wingman Converter SD. Oh yes. Now this will allow you to use different types of controllers on the Dreamcast and Sega Saturn. Now the best thing about this is that Brook make quality products. I've got a few Brook converters which you may have seen videos of and they work like a dream. I use them on my uh, Neo Geo so I can play uh, Neo Geo with uh, other controllers and also PC Engine with Sega Saturn controllers. It's really cool. Anyway, this device here has the following features. So let's take a look at the back. So as you can see, we can use Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox One Elite, and Xbox Elite 2 controllers on a Saturn Dreamcast or PC using the X input. We can also use the PS3, PS4, and Switch Pro controllers. Now a lot of the controllers can be used wirelessly or over Bluetooth. There is one thing though, if you're using an Xbox 360 controller, the wireless one, you do need to have the wireless receiver in the uh, Wingman converter. This is because it doesn't use the standard 360 controllers, it uses the PC version of the 360 controller. Using things like fighting sticks, we can just connect that up with a cable and we plug the USB cable into the front there. No big deal. It instantly finds the controller. Okay, so let's connect our wireless controller up to the Sega Dreamcast. So we've got it plugged into the Dreamcast now. You can see the solid green light. That means it's connected to the console okay. And the red light is flashing slowly. That means it is waiting for an input. So hold down the pairing button on the box and then press the pairing button on the controller and you'll see they both flash like crazy. So they are now both looking for each other. Once they've found each other, the flashes will slow down and stop as you can see there. And now the controllers are paired up and we're ready to go. Okay, so here we are with the Xbox controller all paired up and pressing the start button here takes us straight into the menu. In fact, it acts just the same as the Dreamcast start button. As you can see, the digital and analog buttons also work. So it pairs the Xbox One controller to the exact same setup as the Sega Dreamcast. Even the face buttons are the same. So there's no options, uh, sorry, there's no issues with having you know, strange button configurations, they're all the same. And it just happens that the A, B, X, Y is also the same as Sega Dreamcast. So let's try controlling the game a little bit. Okay, so yeah, analog works perfectly fine. And it is analog, it's not putting in digital controls. It works as an analog controller. So let's just see if the lag is there. Nope, absolutely no lag at all. Like other Brook products, this doesn't seem to introduce any lag. And if it does, we can't feel it. Also, I must apologize for the camera going out of focus all the time. I'm sure I had it on manual focus, but it looks like I didn't. Now, one interesting thing is that the shoulder buttons are connected to the L1 and R1 and L2 and R2. So you can have real analog controls there as well, or Digital, choice is yours. Okay, so how about using it on a Sega Saturn? Well, that is also very easy to do. So we're not gonna use the Xbox One controller here. We've already done a wireless controller. Let's use a wired controller, and we're gonna use this one. This is the Hori PlayStation 4 controller. I really do like this controller over the regular controller because it has a proper D-pad on it and also has the analog sticks in the positions that I prefer rather than having them both in the center. Okay, so to connect this up using a cabled controller is very simple. First, we plug the wingman into the console and then we connect the USB side of the controller to the wingman and that's it. Power on the console, instant connection. No need to mess about with any options or anything like that. Okay, so the high Saturn has booted and don't worry, you can use this with any type of Sega Saturn. It doesn't have to be a high Saturn. I just happen to be using a high Saturn. 
Okay, so let's start up the game. And we're going to be playing Daytona USA, the original version. Yeah, I know it looks like a dog's dinner, but it's still a fun game. And we're going to be playing it with a PlayStation 4 controller. Now, when you use uh, the Brook Wingman SD on a Sega Saturn, it boots the controllers into the uh, 3D analog uh, joypad as standard. But there is a button combination you can do to switch that back to the uh, normal regular six button digital pad. I put the button combination down there. Okay, so as you can see, pressing the options button acts as start. And if we go down to options here, you will see that if we go to the key assign, it recognizes it as a steering wheel. Because when this game came out, there was no 3D analog pad. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, controlled using the analogs there. Okay, so let's get out of that. And let's go back to arcade. So from here, you should select using the analog, not the D-pad. So as you can see, D-pad's not doing anything. But the analog stick is. Okay, so that's gonna be a bit interesting. The best thing with this is it's got a special button down there to slow down the analog inputs. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's start a race. How do we start? Nope, not that button. Ah, up here. Okay. I think we'll go with automatic. Now, of course, if you're playing a 2D game, you can use the D-pad on it just by setting this to standard digital pad mode. Okay, this is going to be interesting, playing Sega Saturn Daytona with a PlayStation 4 controller. Okay, the accelerator is on. Whoa, flipping heck. <laughs> it's very hard to play this close to the screen. Yeah, let's change my view. Oh, jeez, I can't play. I'm too close to the TV. Let me move back a little bit. <laughs> okay, well the analog is working perfectly fine. It is actually working as an analog controller. Hang on, let me just move back from the TV a bit, see if I can control it a bit better. There you go. Getting it now. Oops, maybe not. <laughs> All right, we're not doing too good there, are we? But there you go, you can play Sega Saturn with a PlayStation 4 controller. And of course, we can also play Sega Saturn wirelessly using an Xbox One controller or the Switch uh, Pro controller, anything like that. It doesn't matter. Anything that works on the Dreamcast will also work on the Sega Saturn. How about that for cool? So there we have it. That is the Brook Wingman Converter SD. I think it is a very good converter very easy to use very easy to set up and the fact that we can use many different options to control sega saturn or sega dreamcast games is great i mean the japanese sega saturn had a really good control pad anyway and as it has excellent uh joystick options but the basic stock controller on the sega dreamcast yeah it really needs uh some work so the fact that we can use an xbox one controller on that or wired 360 controller is excellent, or even a PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah, it really does make a difference to play in Dreamcast games. I think the Sega Saturn side is a bit of a bonus, but uh, yeah, it's excellent that it works on this and that. So, yet again, Brook have surprised me with the quality of their products. Definitely recommended. Get yourself one now. There's a link in the video description down below.